Okay. There are some things that YouTube definitely needs to clear up. I'm sure you're all aware of this by now, and you've probably seen it. But uh, YouTube have recently come out with their uh, YouTube Rewind video for 2019. As you could probably tell, there's always been a fair amount of, let's just say, hot water when it comes to the recent videos. Uh, especially on the fact that nowadays it's pretty much just deviating from the uh, original stuff that they had planned in 2012, 13, 14, whatever. The thing is, I'm not exactly sure if I appreciate the efforts. Not a lot of people do. In 2019 was probably a little bit more of a step down to what they had in mind last year. I mean, never mind the fact that we had the sort of ad apocalypse thing with Logan Paul and every sort of drama video and we still had the PewDiePie versus T-Series debate. T-Series ended up eventually winning, but I guess you can't, I guess you can say you just can't win them all. And not to mention that once again we are pretty much glossing over the fact that there were pretty shady things going on in YouTube. If you don't want to... <clears throat> I mean, honestly, they're just looking at it like it's a really fun place, and it's just... Like, don't worry about the fact that we've got multiple millions of channels probably getting sued because of using kids in their videos, or kid-friendly content, or the fact that we've still got multiple drama videos getting views and views and views and views. And let's just forget for one second about, you know, the deaths of various YouTubers, Angry Grandpa, Grant Thompson from The King of Random, freaking Etika for... Just, just ignore those deaths and all the bad stuff for whatever reason, and just distract your audience with K-pop. Bloody hell fire. I don't exactly know how to react to stuff like this. No, more or less, even try to change it, but... Honestly, I'm not exactly thrilled with the YouTube rewinds anymore. If you're going to do it, just at least include all of the YouTubers we know and love. Just include whoever was slash is famous on YouTube. Just bring back Good Mythical Morning or have Smosh come on board once more. Focus more with PewDiePie, not so much his thing with T-Series. Leave alone all of these newbies, all the gamers and vloggers. I mean, sure, they deserve some recognition, but just... Just don't. Just... Just leave it for a little bit. And... And if you're going to try something like this, it's probably a little bit better to stick to the old formula. Formulas work. It's not exactly going to go all that well for you to try and create a new formula, like choose your top five rated videos, or have your fans create the YouTube Rewind for you, which is why we're ending up with multiple different channels doing up their own versions of YouTube Rewinds and claiming that they fixed them. Honestly, YouTube, just go back to what you were doing beforehand and go back to how it was in 2013 with none of this darn stuff going on. Honestly, it was... It would have been a lot easier back in the day. Ugh. <sighs> 
if you're wondering why I haven't put anything out for a sort of five year anniversary video, it, I assure you it was in the works, but after seeing everything that's been going on with YouTube, the copper lawsuits and all sorts of other stuff, I just thought I probably might not bother. So yes, really, really sorry that, that I've been act inactive all this time, but I will come I will come up with some sort of a retrospective later on in in the month or probably next year. But for now, what we've uh, really got to do deal with is the fact that is the fact that YouTube is kind of deviating from what it once was in 2010 and 2011 and so forth. It's becoming oversaturated with new videos from newer channels that haven't exactly had much recognition. No one big on YouTube is getting much more attention. Everything, everything you find on there nowadays is no longer sketch comedies. It's mainly just, just, I mean, sketch comedies and music videos and a lot of other things. Those are pretty much just going into the past now. It all just seems to be vlog. It all just seems to be random pranking vlogs, ASMR videos, and what's more, freaking K-pop. I honestly don't know how to respond. The internet has certainly changed a fair bit, and I really don't know if it's all that good for any of us. Kind of makes me wonder if we should just take it, if we should all just take a step back and think about what's going on with everything. Sorry if this video is a little bit quiet, and apologies for the setup and the audio, but this is kind of all I've got to deal with at the moment, and I apologize for, for my appearance. I'm, I'm looking very unkempt. I need to shave this damn beard off, even though it's all stubble. But yeah, anyway, that, that's enough rambling. I think I think the point is that YouTube has definitely deviated from what it was in its heyday. It's not exactly it's not exactly much of a case of broadcasting yourself as it is as sort of becoming like a television program now. And we're just getting multiple millions of controversies and Diss tracks, getting lawsuits, and copyright infringements, and this is just this is just getting out of hand. We even had to delete several videos for copyright infringement, and that's not fun for me. It's not fun for anybody, and neither would be getting a lawsuit over over the fact of like having a sort of video pop open about a certain character or a certain thing that might interest a kid and then suddenly it's just seen as kid friendly. <sighs> I mean there is still good in the world. Like take Mr Beast with the 20 million trees thing. And various other channels have gotten on board. I think the thing is that if we focus on the positive a little too much and just try to ignore the negative, we're probably going to end up falling back into old habits, which I think is kind of what YouTube is going to do, because they're focusing on all that's good in the world, they're not focusing on any, on any, any, any controversies, any of the deaths. 
for any sort of thing. Well, there's no little memoriam segments. But, but mostly my main concern here is the fact that they're not even doing their rewind series correct anymore. It's all just becoming viewer oriented now instead of just focusing on what the channels had to bring. If I knew it was going to be, if I knew it was going to act like this, I probably would have thought twice about getting involved. I'm just wasting too much time. Sorry I had to go through all of this unfiltered garbage. Uh, thanks for taking the time to listen to my rant. So I'll see you when the next video comes out. Peace out, peeps.